Hey family, friends and fans and welcome. I am at the cemetery today, finally. It's not the greatest weather but it's not raining so all good. Um, I am literally heading to where I did my last spirit box for the simple fact is when I was last there I spoke, spoke to somebody called Ed or Edward, Ed, he called himself Ed. Um, I'm not too sure but I think he's the reason my footage got corrupt I think he attached himself to either me or my equipment because yesterday something strange happened in my home um, nothing major but something yes yeah, something happened uh, that I noticed blatantly so it didn't scare me or nothing I don't get like a bad vibe from him or anything like that so yeah but as you can see we're here and this like I've told you before, this graveyard is huge. So, as I said, a message always comes through when I'm filming. So, as I said, I'm literally heading to where I did my first spirit box. No, my second one, sorry. Because I, I didn't get much on the first one. So I'm heading to where the second one, where I did the second one. Um, and we'll go from there. So, see you soon. Are you seeing this, guys? It's a monk jack. I'll get a bit, look there, there. I don't want to scare it too much. It's just there, look. How amazing is that? There it goes. So beautiful. Not sure what it's doing, looking for food, I think. There he goes, look. As I said, I came face to face with it as I turned the corner, but I don't want to, I don't want to frighten it or anything. This one, it, this is its home, not mine. It's its natural habitat. I've lost it. Where's it gone? Let's walk around a bit because, I, like I said, I do not want to frighten the little thing. But I think it's totally amazing to see it here. But there it is. Look, it's going off. Look, it's eating the grass or apples. There's apples around here, so but I'm not seeing an apple tree. But there's definitely apples around here. Look at him go. So awesome. Okay, I will leave him be. So here we are, guys, as you can see. Extremely beautiful place. This is so peaceful, so calm. And quite big. And this isn't the biggest one we have, biggest cemetery we have here, but it is quite big. There's a lot of soldiers' graves here as well. Um, some of these graves are extremely old talking 1800s and then you've got newer ones I mean even this look how new this headstone looks but it actually says that the people passed away in 57 and 89 so even though they look pristine they are actually quite old and then you've got ones like this and as you can see, the date is 1900, 1940, a bit later, obviously. But yeah, there are some extremely old graves here. And I'm heading down that way because that's where, that's where I met Ed. So, see you in a second. And as you can see, look, look at this. This is seriously beautiful. I don't know if this is someone's grave or a family grave, but... It is seriously beautiful, especially as it's got this ivy and this tree growing over it. I don't know what it is about it, it just makes it, to me, even more pretty. Like, whomever this was made for, obviously, was somebody important, or an important family maybe, or just rich. Anywho. We move on. Yeah. Hello, is there anybody here that wants to communicate? Sorry? Sorry, what was that? Mm -hmm. 
William. Hello, William. Hi. Hi. I've heard a few. Oh, I heard a few hello and hi. It's nice to meet you. If you talk into this box looking thing, flat box thing on my lap here, I can hear you through this. But you have to be quite loud and clear when you speak. So, gentleman I spoke to last time, Ed, lovely, I heard lovely, <laughs> um, Ed, um, I asked if this was your grave ahead of me here and you said no. I'm just wondering, did you follow me home? You did. I thought you did. Well, can you return to his because you shouldn't really be following me home. I don't allow that. You corrupted my footage, didn't you? Well, Ed, you need to come back here and stay here. Is this your grave over here? Because I do see a William. You were 50 odd or 50 when you passed away, is that right? 56. 54. That's, that's quite a young age to go, uh, isn't it? Is there anybody else you would like to say anything or speak to me? Of course. Of course. Good Sorry? So who else is here with me right now? Yeah. Sam? Was that Sam? Stan? Oh my goodness, look, a robin! Right next to me, look, on the gravestone here. Amazing is that. Oh! You know what they say about robins as well, it's supposed to be spirit of a loved one. How bizarre is that, people? Okay, I'm just going to stop this video for a minute in case um, it, it corrupts again or anything. So I'm just going to stop it for now. So I just came across this grave. I just thought this was really unusual. See, it's got all these, like, branches on it, but they look like they've been burnt. Like, what was going on here? Pretty sure they've been... Because that looks like it has been on fire at some point. Who would do that? Did you dislike this person so much, really? That they deserve that? Okay, so I'm at this little bit here. I'm kind of stuck in the middle. I don't like stepping on people's graves. I feel really disrespectful. But i am kind of got myself stuck in the middle here. So I'm not sure which way I'm going. I think there's a path over there. So I'm going to sort of slowly make my way over there, but I am terrified that I am in people's, people's graves. I am really sorry if I am. It's not intentional. Oh my goodness. I swear it's not intentional. 
look, there's sort of a makeshift path that someone else has taken, kind of. Right, I'm going to sit here. Oh, I remember that from last time I was here. See the railings round it? Like, I think these people were back in the day, and that tree, I couldn't state the tree, were terrified of zombies, so they put these big railings round certain graves back in the day. I don't really do that anymore. There's a path there and all. Make your way to that path without being disrespectful. Come on, come on. Like like this, perfect example, look. Except it would have had a bit across the top as well. <laughs> it's because back in the day they used to actually bury people alive without realising it because they didn't understand that sometimes people fall into sort of coma-like sleep that um, they're not actually dead. Look at this tree. It's actually almost... Well, it has taken this grave out. Look at it. So anyway, I'm going to stop it for a second. I'm coming back. I'm going to do my spirit box at here. Hello? Is there anybody who would like to communicate with me? Oh, that was nice and clear. Who is that? Donald. Did you say Donald? Could you tell me your name? Could you tell me your name? And guys, if you do hear or see anything that I don't notice, could you please let me know with a comment below? Thank you. There's so many talk all at once, which I understand that, but... Can you try and talk one at a time and clear and concise? No whispering lady, I heard that. My, my name is Donna. And I mean no disrespect being here or anything like that. I literally am just trying to make contact. I am, yes. These graves belong to you? Men? Quiet. Did you just say my name? Two. Two? Uh, well, hello. Who was that gentleman that just spoke to me? Is there anybody here that has anything they'd like to say to me? This is your chance, you can talk to me through uh, this device.
Well, it's not looking like they want to talk much. They've gone really quiet. They did this to me the other day. They press... No, they haven't. It's... Yeah. Cannot hear them. So, can you tell me your name? Guys, if you hear anything that I don't, that I miss, please let me know because it's really difficult to hear. I'm quite close to a main road and it is, yeah, quite difficult to hear. I might have to move on elsewhere. And now they've just gone quiet. They keep doing this, they just go really quiet. Oh, they all tried to talk and you can't understand them. That was a child. Is that, are there children here? See this little black box on my lap? Literally, if you come sit by me and talk into that, I can hear you. I can actually communicate. Are you okay about me being here? Who else is here? Nobody. It's just me. There's other people I don't know about around, but it's just me. I do apologise about the sirens, but we're close to the hospital. Well, you guys are much at this point, are you? Not that you can hear much with that siren. Okay, I'm gonna... I guess I'm gonna cut call it a day, cos... They're just obviously not, not playing today. No. So, I'm hoping that footage, my card, I don't know if that's, say my card's low or what. So I'm going to cut it now. Um, I will come back and do it again here, but I've also got a couple of other graveyards I want to visit. So, thank you so much for subscribing, thank you for the likes. Um, everything. Thank you, guys. And talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Um, so, I'm back from the graveyard. Not going to say it was the most exciting, eventful thing ever, but I did pick up some spirits, some voices, some EVPs, very, very well. Uh, some of it, I couldn't hear a lot. Honest truth, being that close to the main road, with sirens going by because I'm close to the hospital, um, various other things, the wind... Um, I couldn't actually hear the spirit box too well. Um, so if you hear anything that I did not pick up on, please let me know. One point, I thought I heard I heard the name Jordan. Um, now, I've, I've heard this name before, but it's a Bulgarian name. So I kind of was like, no, I don't think I heard that right. Which I obviously didn't, because when I finished and I got up and was wandering around trying to get back to the path, there was a grave right next to me and it said Reuben. So I think I mistook Jordan for Reuben. I think I actually made contact with Reuben also. Um, I'll check that out next time I'm back. I will actually go back to that grave because, yeah, it was nice to get a 
clear name, especially when it's an unusual name. I obviously spoke to somebody called William, and there was quite a few graves with Williams on them, even some that were similar to my partner's name. Uh, there was, yeah, so many William graves, and so many, um, like, oh, who was it, what was the name, like, Edwards, Edwards and Williams, can tell that those were like, rather to do names back in the day, so everybody named their kid um, including the royal family, William. Uh, there was, there was a woman's voice came across, but she didn't talk too much. Um, sorry, my dog is whining down my ear because I'm talking on the camera and he doesn't like it. Tough. Uh, yeah, um, can't say there was a lot of activity. Capturing the monk jack, I thought that was fantastic, personally. Just for myself, I thought that was great. And then, when I'm actually doing the spirit box and I'm sat there, to see a robin that closely come and sit that close to me was completely mental <laughs> that was just amazing i was like yeah that was like a sign to me to me it was like a sign to say that there was spirits with me including spirits that didn't belong to that graveyard that are just with me um because in my home um my home's not haunted but i do have visitors let's just put it that way the bizarre thing that happened yesterday though was i've got these throws on my sofa and I was literally, I was in my own world, staring at something else to one side of this blanket. And the blanket moved by itself. Literally, it it, it was as if somebody got hold of it, pulled it, and, and let it go. Like, tugged it. It literally went, oh, it's hard to explain, but it did. It actually moved up. And there's there's no explanation to why... Why it did, why it moved? It's not like the cushion fell or anything like that. The dog wasn't over there. Partner wasn't even home from work. It was literally just me and the dog, and the dog was laid next to me. He was whining again. This is what he does. Are you done? Anyway, people, again, thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you so much for the likes, because as I say, I need those likes, people. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing. I know I'm not fantastic. I am brand new. Really? Really? Why? Why do you do that? I'm not... I don't know, I'm not doing anything that I shouldn't be. Why do you cry? Anywho, yeah, sorry. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> I can see me having dog stew later. I seriously can. <laughs> Look. See? So silly. Right. Um, I've, I've lost, completely lost what I was saying now. Thank you, Max. Um, yeah, so... Uh, I'm lost. Um... He's totally put me off. Basically, yeah, there wasn't really a great deal of activity. I'm brand new to YouTube as well, by the way, people. So I don't have the best camera equipment, uh, the best sound equipment, or anything fantastic just yet. I'm hoping in time that will come and this channel will just be great. And you guys will be getting the footage you so, so deserve. Um, including going travelling to places and filming at different locations, better locations. I am in the process of trying to figure out how I find, like, abandoned haunted buildings um, that will allow me access to film and whatnot, but I've got to look into that, so. Um, yeah, ne next time, hopefully, it will be a different graveyard, the little tiny one in town. I'm just killing my dog, don't worry. <laughs> Not really. Yeah. It might be the little one in town or it might be the big huge one that we have which is like twice the size of the one I was at today three times the size of the one I was at today um, but that's again future videos I seriously again I appreciate you all especially on my, my uh, 32 subscribers I fucking love you all I love you um, thanks again and talk soon thanks for watching people <laughs>